Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear brothers. So this is the translation of the message that he sent to me. The translation, it reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story? is hidden identity i have come here on your platform to confess to you and to give you my own testimony and my testimony it reads like this i want your listeners to stop visiting these witch doctors because nothing good is ever going to come out of it and i was once a ritualist and even right now i am still fighting against that spirit because my uncle who was my father's elder brother he left this demonic spirit for me so this spirit it brought me good luck and indeed when i returned back to south africa i then got involved in a lot of business contracts that were giving me a lot of money but at the end of the day when i was told that it was time for me to sacrifice that was when i saw that the devil will never give you anything for free so i want to encourage those ones that think that god has forgotten them to at least try to pray pray one more time and i know that god is going to answer you so what happened is that like most of people of the people who are from my country i came to south africa seeking greener pastures and when i came to south africa i struggled to get a good paying job and i then started st working for this other man who was taking advantage of me since i was not documented so it was always a struggle. The money that I was making, that was the money that I was using to pay the rent and to buy the food. I could not save anything. It then happened that my uncle started calling me and he said that he had seen my suffering. He wanted to bless me because when I came here to South Africa, he said that I should have come to him first so that he can give me the fatherly blessing since he was the eldest in the family in which my father was born into. So since he had not given me his blessings therefore i could not make money in a foreign land and i kept on postponing not because i did not want to go and visit him but because i could not afford i did not have the money to go and visit him because the money that i could only budget was the money to buy some food for my parents and return back to the village where my parents had built their home because this uncle of ours uh, when he bought his other stand in another village at uh, that place where he bought this stand it was very far you needed a lot of money to pay for the bus ticket so i could not manage to do that it then happened that even he would call my parents telling them that he was old all that he wanted was to see me one more time so when i returned back home my parents then told me that i should go and visit my uncle otherwise i was not going to get these fatherly blessings and i then went there when I arrived at the place where he was staying, my uncle then waited for the evening to arrive. When the evening had arrived, he then said, Oh, my son, my dear son, follow me because I want you to accompany me. That was when I accompanied my uncle we then went to the kettle crawl and whilst we were there he then went into the kettle crawl and told me to wait for him outside and he picked up some fresh cow dung and then he gave it to me and he told me that I had to look the other way with my back against the kettle crawl and he told me that I was supposed to throw that cow dung back into that kettle crawl and that is what I did and he celebrated and he said that indeed I was worthy of his blessings. We then walked back to his compound. When we arrived back at his compound, he then told me to take my body lotion. So I had my Nivea body lotion that I gave to him. He then gave me some oil and after he had given me this oil which was red in color he told me to mix this oil but not to pour all of it into that Nivea body lotion bottle that I had he said just a little bit and that is what I did and he told me that each and every time when I would 
be going out to find a peace job all that i had to do was to use this oil and it was going to give me good luck and i then left his compound and i returned back to my family's compound and from there on i returned back to south africa so while i was on the bus that was when i had my first spiritual encounter so when i had this spiritual encounter it was like i was dreaming because everyone on the bus was fast asleep that was when i had a vision and i woke up when i woke up i saw that on the bus it was only i who was on the bus and there was not even the driver was not even in control of the bus it was only i and i saw that there was this very short man at tokoloshi that i saw this evil spirit came and spoke with me and told me that it had been told by my uncle that I was the one who was supposed to take care of it. He then told me not to be afraid for it had been sent as a blessing by my uncle and it was supposed to work for me so that it can make me to become a rich man in a foreign land and it was not going to demand anything from me. So I was happy and when I arrived back in South Africa then things started to happen. Things started to happen really fast and I started meeting a lot of people that were connecting me and within a short period of time I was now doing subcontracts and they were just coming and coming and I was making a lot of money so brother Nashi what then happened is that I then bought my car and this Togoloshi what it used to do is that at the place where I was still staying at that time like when it would be month and after everyone who would be working when they would have gotten their money like they would think that they still have the money in their accounts or maybe in their rooms but this money the tokoloshi would go and steal that money and the tokoloshi will just give them some papers that is why those people they would always be complaining saying that i am working each and every month i get paid but i do not even know what exactly am i doing with the money that my boss is giving me it is because on the day that they will get paid uh, that tokoloshi will go and steal that money from them and the tokoloshi will give me that money and the, at the place where i was staying there were a lot of rooms so you can just imagine the amount of money that i was making each and every month from there on i moved on because i was now having a lot of subcontracts and after two years after i had made so much money that was when this tokoloshi came to me the tokoloshi always comes to me in a vision he then spoke with me after this tokoloshi had spoken with me he then told me that it had worked for me for two good years it would go around people's homes stealing money and giving that money to me even entering into people's bank accounts and stealing their money so much that the person would think that they still have the money in their account but that money will not be there it will be just numbers so this tokoloshi said i have worked for you boss for two good years without resting now look at yourself you have made so much money and i want you to thank me because i am thirsty so since this tokoloshi said that it was thirsty and i said what do you want do you want me to go out there and buy for you a fruit juice or maybe a coke even what do you want what do you survive on do you want milk fresh milk i can go and buy for you fresh milk but this dogolo she looked at me and it said no it does not survive on water neither does it survive survive on milk or even on cold drinks but it wanted blood it said i do not want the blood of a chicken the blood of a cow or anything but i want the blood of a human being when it said that it wanted the blood of a human being i was like you want me to sacrifice who am i going to sacrifice to you because th i thought that maybe it would require the blood of a stranger it then pointed at my mother and it said that the woman who brought you into this world that woman is the one whom i require as a sacrifice and left with no choice i then sacrificed my mother then my mother passed away and after my mother had passed away he then told me that it was thankful for i had fed it with human blood and it had now more powers it wanted to make me to become a multi-millionaire in this foreign land it then started working for me and it worked for me for two years and it then returned back to me and it gave me two options and it said the first time 
around when I asked you to sacrifice your mother. I know that I did not give you an option and then told me that it had thought about it and it saw that what it did to me was not fair. So it wanted to give me two options. It said that it's either you're going to give me the blood of your father or you're going to give me the blood of your sister. When I looked at my poor father and when I looked at my poor sister, I said, no, I cannot do it. So me and my Tokoloshi, we then started fighting and I was like really sick at that time. I did not even know what else was I supposed to do. And I then started walking. And when I started walking, I had remembered that in that location, there was this other man who was also from Zim, a mechanic. So he was a church elder. So I used to go to him sometimes to fix my car. But on that day, when I was really sick, I just said, let me go to him. If he is a church elder, maybe he can assist me. I then started walking, going to the place where that elder was staying. And I felt that my body was was heavy because what this dogology had done is that it had came and it had possessed my body it could not kill me but it was just heavy on my body so much that i could not walk i was crawling as i was headed for the elder's house it was late at night so when i arrived at his house this elder then i found him standing at the gate because he was just looking around and he told me that when he was indoors he had a voice that told him to go outside for there was someone there whom he was supposed to wait for and when he saw me as i was crawling he then rushed to the place where i was because i was really weak i felt like i was about to die so he then dragged me back into that house where he was staying and the moment that he dragged me into the yard then i felt like i was okay again that sickness immediately left my body because tokolo she could not enter into the elders yard and the elders started to pray for me but i felt ashamed to tell him that i was a ritualist he prayed for me and he said that before he could pray for me he wanted me to say the sinner's prayer and it, indeed i said the sinner's prayer and i felt that evil spirit leaving my body and from that day i then stopped being a ritualist this uh, tokoloshi kept on threatening me but i would go to that elder and he would pray for me until i was able to pray for myself so this evil spirit finally ran away and returned back to zim and it told me that it was going to wait for me until the day that i was going to return back to this evil spirit so it now stays in that mountain that is in our village yes i know because it told me and it told me that it will be waiting for me for one day when i am broke i am going to return back to this evil spirit begging for it to help me again if it happens again that i become so poor but i will never return back to the devil to do another deal with the devil because i survived i survived after i had this deal with the devil all that i want to do is to worship the lord for i know what the lord did for me so i want to encourage your listeners to be prayerful at all the times and all that they want the answer that they are looking for they are going to find that answer in the lord like i did dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear brother please let us talk about this issue in the comment section